So we think of our rectus abdominis as our six pack. We call it rectus because it's straight, abdominis because it's in the abdominal region. We have our origin down here. You come up superiorly and we're going to the insertion, okay? So origin, right along here, pubic crest, pubic symphysis. There are different bellies of this muscle, but this muscle works its way all the way up. It goes to the xiphoid process of the sternum. It also goes to the costal cartilage. You'll see this in blue here of the ribs six, five, six, and seven, okay? Rectus abdominis, origin, insertion. So this one helps us anteriorly flex at the hips. You don't have one, it's not a hinge joint. Remember, you've got all these vertebrae that are sliding past one another. But when you bend forward like this, we call that flexion of the torso at the hip, okay? Or when you squeeze your muscles in your stomach, that's rectus abdominis, okay? Biceps brachii. Biceps brachii. We're looking at the muscle on the anterior side of the arm here. Okay, biceps because it has two heads. You can see the short head coming here. Long head is lateral. That's going to head up this way. Okay, so this one, if we look at the origin for the long head, it's going to be back here on the posterior side of the scapula. So here's the glenoid cavity, okay? This is the supraglenoid tubercle. That's this red spot right there, supraglenoid tubercle, okay? That's the long head. It's got a long tendon that's got to travel all the way down. The short head is going to have its origin at the coracoid process, okay? Also of the scapula. Tendon has a shorter way to go, all right? When this travels down, comes all the way past the humerus, grabs onto two structures actually, only one of them that you'll see on the skeleton here, okay? So this is the radial tuberosity in blue, okay? That's the origin. The other structure is the bicipital aponeurosis that basically comes and covers the medial side of your forearm muscles. So when we contract this muscle, what happens? We call this flexion of the forearm at the elbow, biceps brachii. The other muscle we have here is triceps brachii, okay? So triceps brachii, three heads to this one, lateral head, long head, and medial head. Lateral, long, medial. Three heads, this is the muscle on the posterior side of your arm, okay? So this one, if we look at the long head, right here, you'll see this at the inferior side of this glenoid cavity. It's on the anterior side of the scapula around here. We'll see the lateral head right here on the humerus, okay, lateral side of the humerus. And then the medial head is going to be this large posterior side, all in red. So lateral, medial, and the long head is here, okay. These all go all the way to your olecranon. You'll remember the olecranon is a sharp part of your elbow. So all these muscles come here and they basically converge at this point right here. So these are the muscles on the posterior side of our arm, all three of them coming, grabbing into your olecranon. When you contract this muscle, as the muscle gets shorter, you're basically pulling on your ulna. We call that extension of the forearm at the elbow.